okay, am I the only one who learned some really cool things about mushrooms? Wow! Wasn't that so cool? Did you guys get to watch the videos and read the facts about mushrooms? I learned so much. My kids did too. It was really fun. Okay, we are starting here. I'm starting with just the burnt sienna, but then I'm realizing I need a little bit of that ca cadmium red. So I'm just adding a tiny bit of cadmium red to get kind of an orangish brown color. And then it's mostly water. I'm just doing a really light, light um, wash here and just kind of looking at the shadows. And I'm using my reference uh, picture there for to help me. And I'm just doing shadows at this point. I'm using a number six brush. And as you can see, this is mostly water and I'm just kind of lightly touching the paper and getting those shadows in there. And now I'm just coming in with water and I'm just kind of doing a very light wash, kind of bringing those colors in a little bit more. All right, now I'm adding more of that cadmium red to get a nice orangish red color because I'm going to work on this mushroom. And I want to add some white spots to that. My parents lived in Sweden for a couple of years and they walked out their door and out into the forest right by their house and they were able to see these mushrooms. My um, friend calls them Mario mushrooms. <laughs> and I can't think of the name of them right now. So if you know the name, leave it, leave a comment and let me know what the name is. There, there are so many different kinds of mushrooms and they all have really cool names. Anyway, so now I'm just, um, I just made some kind of O shapes with my brush and those are going to be where the white dots are. And then I'm just painting around those. I love this bright orange, orange red color. It's so pretty. There's a little bit of that brown in it too, which gives it some rich undertones. It's leaving just a little bit of white underneath, just poking through. Okay, now I am going for the cadmium yellow. We're going to work on these little guys. I'm just filling in the tops, letting them vary in brightness and, and lightness. Some are darker than others, a little more pigment in some than others, and that's the way we want it. Just filling in those tops. And then I'm going to go ahead and do some yellow shadows on these. And just they're just little lines all on one side so that they're okay. And then I'm gonna to go to this little guy and we'll make him yellow. And I'm just adding some yellow ochre, which is kind of a brownish yellow, just down at the bottom there, to just darken those edges and put some more shadows in there. I'm doing it while it's still wet so that it will travel around and look really natural on those mushrooms. Just going over my shadows. I'd love to know what kind of mushrooms you've, you've found in your area. This is definitely mushroom season here in Idaho. Okay, now I'm just getting my sap green and filling in the grass at the bottom. Just using the tip of my brush to do those skinny 
edges and then the belly of my brush to get the rest of it. Okay, now I'm just adding a wash there at the bottom. I'm going to come back with my brush full of water and I'm just going to bring it down so it looks like the reference photo above and let the water do its magic. I'm just feathering it down a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to do it. The opposite order of our leaves with our leaves we started with the blue background and then painted the leaves for some reason this time I did it the opposite way so I'm just coming in I'm gonna make the video go a little bit faster here just going in with the blue mostly water again and just filling in that background to help those mushrooms make those colors really bright with that blue background as you can see, it's a lot of water. I'm using the ultramarine blue, which is very pigmented. So you want to use a lot of water with that for what we're doing here. And just have fun swirling it around and then bringing it down in between. Okay, once we have that done, we're going to let it dry. And you can be done at this point if you don't want to outline everything. Um, once you're done with this part, you then, then the picture's done. Or you can choose to uh, go ahead and outline it once you've finished with all of this. As you can see, I, I left white spaces all around there, and that's okay. You can just fill it in or, or not, whatever you want. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and get my Sharpie no bleed pen and outline it. I'm just I just go through all the lines there, including the blades of grass. And it gives it a fun illustrative style and just helps the colors really come out. So that's it. I hope that you enjoy. Share it with a friend. Hang it up on your wall. Have a great day. Bye.